Alright, Mr. Uh, Kazi, so Elvis Gonzalez posted a comment on why most programmers are broke. He said, I got an associate, took a dive and landed a job. I make more than any of my friends who decided to continue and take another two years and will have years of experience by the time they get out. I know more than they do and can create things practically. The best way to learn how to program is to program. End of comment. Wow. So that is a really amazing comment. It's really insightful. We got it on one of our videos recently. And basically what he's saying is like, look, my friends were going to college and I have more practical experience than the friends who actually went to college. Now, what does it actually mean? Does it mean I'm promoting don't go to college, drop out? Absolutely not. What I am promoting is that you should try to earn your way out of college, okay? And first of all, before I even go on that conversation, understand and realize what you're going to college for. For example, if you're going to college to become a doctor, then it's a requirement for you to actually become a doctor. If you're trying to become a lawyer, it is a requirement for you to pass your bar exam, right? Otherwise, you can't become a lawyer. So for certain things, you will need it and there's no other way around it. But if you want to uh, become a developer, you want to get a full-time job, you want to work as a web developer or a full stack developer or a data scientist, it's not so necessary for you to go to a college. I mean, for data science, it's a brand new field. So there isn't actually even a lot in colleges that is being taught about it. So most of the material is outdated in colleges. If you learn on your own, you'll actually learn a lot better but you can use resources from college and the teachers from college or mentors around you and then improve the ability, improve the speed at which you're learning these concepts, okay? So one thing I would say is know what you're going to college for. If you're trying to become a web developer and all those things I just mentioned, it's not necessary. You can just use college as one of the resources rather than college being everything, okay? So with that said, going back to Elvis's comment, he's saying, yo, like I don't need all these, I didn't need all this and instead of going to college for that long, what he instead did is he got a full-time job in that time. So while his friends were taking four years of college, he instead got four years of actual practical experience and now he can use that to go to another job, get paid more, work on more practical projects, increase his income, freelance, whatever it is that Elvis needs to do, he's able to do. It also doesn't mean that he stopped learning. He's learning on his own every single day. He's learning at his job every single day. He's being mentored by the people at his job and they're mentoring him in things that are actually relevant, right? Not these obfuscated theoretical concepts those are some really important things to keep in the back of your head when you're doing all these things like why am I going to college? Don't feel privileged that you can just get out of college. So what do I mean by that? You don't need to wait till you're making a six figure income but if you are making some money, let's say you are getting clients but right now if you're going to college and you're just complaining that you don't have enough time, bullshit. Everybody has enough time. You have enough time. Make it work. Figure it out. All right. Don't just say I don't have enough time, so I'm not gonna, you know, I think if I drop out of college, then, I'll, then I can freelance. Then I can learn how to code. If you can't figure out how to code right now, and if you can't make time for it right now, and you can't get a client right now, you won't be able to get a client when you have more time. You won't be able to learn coding when you have more time. This is a problem of figuring out how to manage time and how to make it happen. You know, I always say, the, if you can make money with no money, then you can make a lot of money with money. All right, and this is true, very true when it comes to programming. If you can learn how to program when you don't have any time, then you can learn a lot of how to program when you do have a lot of time. If you can't freelance and get clients when you have no time, if you can freelance and get clients when you have limited time, then you can get a lot of clients and freelance a lot when you have a lot of time, okay, when you have more time. So keep these things in mind. Don't just drop out of college randomly, thoughtlessly, earn your way out of it if that's something you're gonna do. Otherwise, you can always use college as a great resource. College was a great resource for me, but it was a resource. It wasn't everything. I wasn't dependent on it all the way. 
80% of my education, I was doing it through other means. I had mentors, I was going to meetups, I was learning on my own, I was building projects, I was doing practical stuff. And then I was going to college and it was just this one extra resource, one teacher who had stuff prepared for me and then I could just come in and learn and commit rather than have to figure out all the material and study by myself, okay? So if you're gonna use it, use it as a resource. If you're gonna drop out, earn your way to drop out. Don't just drop out mindlessly. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I love your face and as always, I'll see you in the next video, video. Video. Peace. Going all day, man. How's that?